Welcome back. We're moments away from the opening bell on Wall Street. So let's hit a few hot tickers as the market digests uh, some of that PPI data, which it didn't really like, but we'll continue to watch it nonetheless. Let's start with uh, Philips, the stock taking quite a fall after the Dutch tech company forewarns that supply chain problems will impact sales and third quarter profits. Uh, noting its third quarter core profit would be down about 60 percent from a year ago. Uh, stock is obsolete getting slammed. They also take a goodwill and PAM recharge. Never good when you see that over uh, $1.3 billion euros. But this could be a very challenging uh, earnings season. Tell me something we didn't know. But nonetheless, on one hand, we have PepsiCo beats by 13 cents, strong sales, strong profits, raises its sales and profit outlook. And you have a Phillips, uh, on the other hand, just saying something completely opposite. And I think this really shows how difficult it is going to be for investors over the next few weeks to, to get a, a real sense on what's happening uh, yeah. with their investments. A comp sales decline that they're looking for of approximately 5%. And, you know, this coming after the third quarter of last year that they pointed to and seeing some strength there, the comparable order intake this third quarter of 2022 actually declined approximately 6% based on what they're seeing right now. And so with all of the performance issues that, that they have been citing here within this, uh, they're taking some other actions as well to mitigate some of the ongoing headwinds. Uh, and they're going to provide more detail on that. It seems later on in October. As well. Yeah, this company has a relatively new CEO, a guy named Roy Jacobs, who took over Franz Van Houten, who was there for 12 years. And so now this new guy comes in, he's trying to turn things around. Um, some of the steps they are taking, fewer R&D projects, yeah. which is kind of interesting here, cutting back on um, some expenses in that area and really focusing on supply chain, which has been a problem for Philips. One other thing, that impairment charge that you mentioned that's interesting, the 1.3 billion euro impairment charge is for its sleep and respiratory care business. And it has to do with a settlement with authorities in the U.S. over sleep apnea devices that allegedly had some toxic substances within them. So that's sort Terrified. of to the side, okay. right? Like the rest of it is sort of more relevant to what we're seeing in the overall environment. But nonetheless, that's an added it, challenge for them. And it also really highlights supply chain challenges from the pandemic. First of all, pand pandemic is not over uh, from what I can tell. And these supply chain challenges that we've been dealing with for about two, over two and a half years, this continues. And this has not gone away. Has They're it gotten changing. worse? Yes. They're changing. They're changing. Yes, has it gotten worse, but it's not exactly pre-pandemic type stuff. Right. In certain areas, it's still bad. In other areas, there's oversupplied. Like now it's this lumpiness that we are seeing in the supply chain.